Ooh, Merc Company, seven of them, no archers. How fucked up are we? Mildly fucked up. Uh, the Civ content and the Battle Brothers content have, and the Darkest Dungeon content all have long tails on them for sure. 82 isn't terrible. This guy needs to be in the back. Doing what though? Just reach attacking, I guess. Four as well. We just finished a um, full clear of all the uh, Lego locations. All right. The only thing we need to do about this first is we need to take a second and sell. These are, I think I would like to run jab, not jabs, run weapons here. He doesn't have footwork. Does not have any stam is a problem with this guy. We need inventory space. We maybe can sell if we get into the city just real quick, dump inventory and then go for it. I need to buy a fencing sword now too, now that we have our fencer. Oh, they're running. It's so interesting. Oh, no, they're coming back now. Okay, so we got in here. Got a brawler. Triple attack quick. Okay, this brawler's getting fucking hired. This man is hired. He's hired, chat. We're not asking questions. We don't care who he's brawled. There's a fencing sword here. Not even bad price. I think we're going to buy it. 22. Okay. Let's sell just a little bit till we make room here. We don't need an infinite amount of spot for this and we want to go to the better selling place to the west in a second. Okay. Good enough, all right. All right, Brawler comes in, 52 I believe is on their low end. I think they roll 52 to 57. Four is on their high end. So this ends up still 35 on top of that, it's 87. That's good enough. 55 is the bottom, they roll 55 to 70, that sucks. They rolled minimum on resolve, minimum on HP, minimum on attack. Well, still uh, better than our existing brothers. Can we get a name for the mods please? But uh, could have been quite a bit better than they're gonna end up as obviously. Seven frontliners, huh? It's a little heavy for us. I mean, I guess we can tank as a zero stam here. He's still slower. He's 116 with this. I don't think he's anywhere near fast enough for our fencer, right? No initiative stars either. So no, I don't think I don't think fencer. I think he's just gonna be a generic frontliner. Mods, can I get you guys to roll, please? Are you not a mod anymore, Triple P? I didn't realize. All right. Oh, you shameless soul for the sub. Fans. Praise the sub. Praise the sub. It's Pyro, okay. Shields hanging out? Not any more shields hanging out, huh? Okay. 
We're going to take this Merc fight. I'm a little scared of it, honestly. Mercs have the tendency to surprise kill you. With fucking fast adaptation, nimble, and goddamn nets. It's such a pain in the ass. Do we want maces at all here? 50 to 100, what's the mace damage? It's pretty bad, the barb maces. 50 to 70, okay. Ah, no big deal, triple B. Yeah, and congrats on your job. Maybe here. Gonna do some whooshing on the 84, but days is a nice debuff. And if we throw this guy up front, it's in as tanky as we have too, that's okay. All right, let's look at this then. Dude, where did this archer come from? Oh, fuck. Merc archers aren't called archers? That's a bitch. Alright, it's a nasty group of mercenaries. And they have an actual archer. The merc archers are terrifying. He doesn't have a war bow, thankfully. But he's still terrifying. I was thinking we'd back up because they have the high ground here, but I don't know, man. We're gonna get better ground than this. They may or may not come our way. It's gonna be very difficult to dagger um, mercenaries. So I, I hear you guys talking about their armor. Yeah, if we can, we will, but that's a Bardiche. Like, none of these guys are. This is the one we might be able to dagger. He might be killable in a way that doesn't destroy us doing it. I wish I'd brought my second bow here. If I could trap that, I mean, they're gonna have fucking rotate, right? I was looking for terrain that makes sense, but there isn't a lot of it here. This terrain just kind of sucks. Nice rotate. Did it. That sucks because this blocked the archer. So I don't really know how we're going to engage this now. This thing will eventually fucking kill us, right? I guess we take high ground here, fight this. That's the Bardiche. I don't know how we follow up on that Bardiche. I'm not at all okay with you coming forward like that. So I guess this turn is a half step forward. The intent to get high ground there, unit there, push in kind of deal. It's really hoping we had um, range superiority so I didn't have to deal with this shit.
There's seven. We're missing two. I don't remember what the other ones are. There. Sucks. Yes, I'm very tired of your non stop repeated headshots from javelins. It's quite irritating. Yes, thank you. Awkward terrain, man. I don't think this guy can handle that. I don't even want to handle that either. Train is making this fight so much harder than it needs to be. I guess we attempt to flank on, I don't know, maybe come down here. All right, you might need to help over here. We'd love to kill these other ones. I maybe need to net that Bardiche next turn. All right, where does this go here? start. Pretty sure they have quick hands. I think I'd rather eat the jabs than the Bardiche. I don't have enough Stam to Adrenaline. So we'll wait. It's great. Could get there? No, can't get there. It is. All right, so I finished his turn. Why didn't I walk fucking forward? Or pass, then walk forward. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to call that a lot of hours. All right, this is the only gear in the game I want. From, or the only thing I really care about is right there. So you got to be very careful about letting that happen. Where's the actual tile he's going to be taking? It's there. So we can go here. I want to adrenaline that next turn. This guy just needs to die. Don't have a dagger here. Fuck. Awkward. I assume this Merc's faster enough. I don't want to go down uh, beneath the Bardiche. It's going to get me destroyed. I 
Could finish puncturing that with the net. We could attempt the Bardiche here. We're gonna eat one big hit here, regardless of what we do. I don't want this guy. I think it's there and wait. a really bad spot for him to put himself in. Pretty pleased about that. Don't have a dagger here, which is ridiculous. I could try to help um, prevent this Merc from running, but there's too many tiles he can run through his buddy too, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense. We just wait. Our goal here is, well, I wasn't expecting that to kill him. I was expecting that to break him, which unlocks the archer. Which is why we left the archer there at all. Okay, don't chunk his armor. I want that fucking armor. Should have waited on the um, the net here, because this is going to be a net. Ah, it doesn't necessarily have to. Axe him one, like he hasn't gone yet. Okay, no turn for you. It's going well, honestly. Okay, that's <laughs> dagger spec, by the way. Go. Yeah, triple puncture. It's a fucking nimble brother. We don't really give a shit. That guy's not nimble, but uh, that guy is. She really need this guy's dagger. Do you have anyone else who can kill him? Yeah, I can rotate. Um, that seems a good way to get Makani killed. He's dazed. Will we go ahead of him next turn? I don't believe. I don't believe at all. Wish we'd stop chunking that armor, though. Any chance you'll die? Thank God for that. All right, can we full surround here? Turn done. Six, we have to get two, three, four more tiles. I can reach that one. How many more people do we have? These two, that guy. Two, three. We might actually be able to do it. Yeah, I can. Okay. Now nah, we're one tile off. Can't get that one and... It's not even the right tile. Fuck, I missed it. I missed it in the stupid perspective. Fuck. I want that armor. All right, never mind. We're fine. Never in doubt. All right, plus 260 gear. Also got a Bardiche and another Billhook. Take it. Doesn't he have two HP? 
misses the point a bit, doesn't it? The guy doesn't have enough stamina to double swing on his puncture. He didn't have enough stamina at all to even puncture the turn before. So the question is, can we kill him before he runs and breaks his armor running away from us? And I, I don't know. Maybe. We hope so. Yeah, it's good, man. Stack for day 31? Yeah, I mean, it's Northern Raiders. It's one of the strongest starts out there, right? Like this in Gladiators. But yeah, it started off sketchy, that fight, when they had the Archer. Thankfully, it wasn't a Master Archer and it wasn't a Warbow. All right, so we know where we want to sell. We want to sell just to the west a little bit here. So we're going to go there in a minute. So do we have anything else we can buy or sell here? I think we already bought all this stuff. So let's go there. There were no other backgrounds, right? Right. We got that sweet brawler. I know, Shanky boy. Oh, no trading caravan. I doubt we can get there, unfortunately, before it, it looks like it's going to the Citadel. So we're going to miss it. No, just kidding. My caravan. <laughs> All right, we didn't get to change our armors, but the idea that it's like this close and it gets ganked. Oh, it's so nice to be the one ganking the caravan as opposed to being ganked when you're running the caravan. So, crack me up. with the adrenaline to eat the stun. Chance of dying? Thanks. Alright. This caravan apparently was empty. It was bringing 50 strange meat. Where is the caravan loot exactly? Strange loot is now a shipment of caravan. You can get that on a shipment of caravan. It seems ridiculous. You don't have to kill the donkey to get the loot. I'm like 99.999% sure on that. Considering we got all of our furs from not killing the donkeys. And you can't kill the donkeys if you kill the other people first. So don't think that's it. But it did feel like we got scammed. All right, people, there's a hedge knight for 5.7 with a mace and a 210 armor. I think we just buy that. If we can get 510k and we probably 5.7k, we probably can if we sell the goose. We should probably just hire the hedge knight, right? Yeah. All right, they're buying at 16. Not the greatest, not the worst. It's a cheap, well, it's a cheap hedge coming with that armor and that mace for sure. Yep. I'd like to not actually sell the goose if possible, but I think we will for that if we get the option, if we have to rather. I don't think I'm using flails this run.
6.3 already? Fucking right. All right. Okay. Uh, Oath Takers are decent. Yep. Not as a start, but as backgrounds to recruit. Yeah, they're decent. All right. I mean, this start seems like we're getting off to a decent go. It's a decent little start. Let's see what our hedge knight is like. You guys ready? You guys ready for the the hedge knight reveal? What you got, buddy? Oh, you're not a very good hedge knight, are you? Fifty nine out of sixty seven possible. Fifty eight minimum. Rolled uh, eight out of ten possible. 66 out of 73 HP, 40 out of 44 resolve. Is there anything else to talk about? Stamina? Yeah. Eh, I don't know, man. This is a, uh, both of these things are more than 2K each to buy. So picking up these two combined, that's about the cost of the hedge knight. It's basically a free fucking hedge knight. Now it wasn't a very good hedge knight, but still better than our other brothers. It's only 11, I think it's okay. We'll see about keeping them or not keeping them. I don't know. We need a little bit more money before we can go anywhere. That's why he was so cheap. Yeah, if only it worked that way, right? All right, uh, let's count some things. We've got two throwing weapons. We'd like to be up to three or four. We've got plenty of arrows. So let's sell the arrows. Let's sell one of these, one of these. I hate 130 mail, so that's probably fine to get rid of. 130 here is pretty bad too. I think we can drop the other 50s. Broken 105, one of these 130s. I'd like to drop that spear, but it's not repaired. Could swap the damaged bow out for, I want two bows though, so I guess this makes sense to hold on to. Okay, Nobu I think switches to the Bardiche for now. Okay. Let's take a look at the level up. Can I get a name from the mods please? For the hedge. Now let's take a look. Dude, 59, what the fuck do we do with this guy? He has no stars either. Except Resolve, he could be early banner. He's really overpriced and I mean that would take advantage of his HP, his Resolve and his stamina. He probably is. It's probably our fucking hedge knight. Our hedge, our banner, rather. Yeah, but we need one is the problem. I agree, it's expensive. It's not even that great. 40 starting resolve is not great. Is this hate or fear or beast hate too? It does matter because we have to pay upkeep on him and his upkeep's a lot. I don't think we want to banner him. I think what we want to do is give him a chance to roll well as we level him, and if he doesn't, feed him to, uh, I don't know, an orc. He's not a runner. He has good stamina, good HP, good resolve, good starting melee defense, okay starting melee attack. Chat, you're so down on the people who don't have stars. It's just a percent based thing on stars. That's it, you know. It doesn't guarantee not having stars doesn't guarantee you don't get the rolls. It just doesn't guarantee that you get them. Okay. Is Fearsome still a meme? I think so, yeah. Alright, see how he rolls. New frontal armor. Alright, we still need a banner. We need to figure out where we're going to generate cash. Uh, one, we should absolutely buy 100 cost ammunition, the way we're going through ammo. We should probably buy 125 ammo too, but 
take all three 100s and call it a day. Anything else we could sell realistically? A little light on cash right now. We got a lot of good weapons. We could probably sell one of the Berserker chains. Just picked up that mace dude. Oh my god, we do we have so many good fucking weapons right now. We've got the reach axe, which isn't that great, honestly. We've got the mace. The reach axe. Not reach axe, the other it's not reach. Um cleave axe, line axe, whatever the fuck you call it. The Bardiche. Some berserker flails. I could probably sell one berserker flail. I can't imagine using two right away. Okay. Alright, got a thousand gold. Where are we going? look over here we could swing southwest we could go raiding again we're pretty strong but i'm not the problem is with raiding is it's not particularly profitable it doesn't generate um stars or it doesn't generate ambitions or renown and uh for us it just doesn't really advance any of our goals i don't think He can't, he can only roll four and resolve. That's the only thing he can roll. He can't, he, there's no variance on his rolls at all for resolve. We know exactly what his resolve ends up. Supply care can, caravans have knights or Zweihanders. I don't think they can have knights. They can have knights rather, but they might be able to have Zweihanders. I don't know. It might be a phased thing too. I mean, we could go raid cities. Honestly, we got about, if we're lucky, 30 to 40 days between before now and the Noble War. So we could probably just go keep leveling. Go find some more missions. Bust some more fog along the way. Some fog in here. We might be strong enough to handle the Necro Savants. Probably not. We could go deeper this way. A little light on tools, but not super light on tools. 250 still. I don't really want to pay for those right now. Let's go, um, let's go west. We'll go this way, down through here, then pop back out over Weisendorf, I think. First Crisis, yeah. When I play Raiders, I like to start with um, Force Noble War. Since... Um, it lets you reset the standing. Right, the raiding other cities as factions is only particularly good in the beginning. After that, it falls off really fast. And I hate to have the whole map closed to me for movement. So I prefer to start them as um, first war. Look, too many hours. <laughs> what are we at right now? Uptime. 11 hours. We take a medium-sized noble. Um, probably. It depends. I don't know where we'd find a noble army right now and where we'd want to, why we'd want to fight one. Like I can't take I can't stand toe to toe with footmen right now. Our people are leveling and early game, which is fine, but You guys ready? So good. So good. Okay. Yeah, the artifacts. It's it's a I don't I don't know exactly what causes it except time, but I don't know what to call them. No. Yeah, I restart the game after the battle and fix it. Yep. One Arbalister, we can handle this fight. If we I don't know if we want it, but we can. I need to fix equipment. This is a fight we'd probably bring these flails in on. Herbalister.
Too bad we're still fucked up over here, huh? Charging us is absolutely phenomenal right now, actually. Nobody's going to be faster than them anyways. I don't need to adrenaline that, I don't think. I want that thing though, which means we gotta get someone with adrenaline over that way. I'm not sure that's gonna happen right now. I don't have any builds in mind, Amrat, but I'm certainly willing to do that, yep. Out of adrenaline right now, I really want the bow. I don't know who the fuck we're gonna use the bow on, but I kinda want it. This 90, this 100 accuracy with fucking confidence seems pretty nice right now. Plus one R blister bow, excellent. Pikes, bow, a 150 male, although totally trashed. Still a good fight. Okay. Only issue with these fights are these units do not scale into the late game. Don't have a crossbow, don't have crossbow bolts right now, sadly. We can try to get some. All right, Nomad leveled. I don't know 
he's doing yet. So Pathfinder. Pyro leveled. Let's student that. It's a little greedy of student, but there we are. Okay. What makes a build build or unit good for the late game? Um starting stats, stat growth. So essentially stars and uh starting stats. Alright, we would like a sergeant, but we're pretty far away from that. Five roaming beasts. We need them for the scout anyways, right? We have two available, but we can't A can't afford any and B do we ever unlock? Scout, we've got Brigand, Cartographer, Lookout, Trader unlocked. We have Trader unlocked? That's funny. Okay. So basically, I'm, I'm aiming for some late game stats, essentially. So many mountains on this map. Thanks, Boards. Welcome back. Dude, there's so many mountains on this fucking map. Holy shit. It's gonna be... Some mountain brigands. Okay. A little light, light on food. We'll definitely take the fight. Okay. I love our team right now, though. Our team has a bunch of high potential late game brothers in there. They're not all going to get there. A, from attrition, but also B, from just they're not going to roll well. But I don't know, man. This is a fucking super accelerated, fun Northern Raider start. This is exactly the type of Raider start you want to play if you can. I also like how early we have a lot of these weapons. There's not a lot of use, reason to use weapons like a Bardiche later, so it's kind of nice to have them now. Does the raider start better than others? It's it. It gives you three decent brothers, starts you in a position which is generally a decent caravan position, and um, gives you a nice nice surprise background of not having to dagger shit, where uh, you can get get loot, get armor loot even without successfully daggering something. That's the benefit of that background. Anybody can do raiding. It's just the developer's intention to incentivize you to do some raiding. All right, we want both these. That's very doable. So is this. I think we would rather take this at daytime and that at nighttime. Okay. Uh, Gladiator start is still the strongest start, in my opinion. All right. So bows are not good here. So let's make sure we're bringing plenty of throwing axes. Pikes are no good here, so let's bring bill hooks. Chain's good, mace is good, axe is fine. Spear is no good, this needs to be a sword. Okay. 
How's everyone's armor? Looks fine. Maybe should switch into slightly heavier there if we can. All right. Uh, I think the Oath Taker, I, I really don't like the Oath Taker start. It does the wrong thing for me, right? Like if I have a, new, a background that, incent if, if I'm incentivized to play in a certain way, I want, I want there to be nice synergies that go along with it. It just feels like such a crapshoot for me, that background. Yeah, gladiators are expensive, but the arena generates a fuck ton of cash, and the gladiator brothers are incredible. They're so damn good. Those unique abilities are awesome. me about the cost of gladiators. Yep, they cost a couple bucks. You're absolutely correct. I'm a tank left over here. Whoops. Need somebody to stand in the way there. Quite sure how the shot behind the pillar shooting this guy works to hit my guy, but it's exciting. today, but oh well. Ancient Undead fights, they're easy, man. All right, any levels? Yeah, levels. Okay, a fucking attack roll, finally. <laughs> what do we take here? All right, these two are for sure. Do we go resolve and hit 61 resolve on this guy? This is our fencer. He's 100 stam at six right now. Definitely needs more Stam. Definitely needs more HP. I 
think we take the resolve. Ah, okay. No, no comment, no comment. I might regret that, we'll see. Okay, that happened. Jeez, what part are, okay, this guy at least rolled. <sighs> no regrets, I mean, 61 resolves a lot. I mean, the fencer is a unit that moves around on its own, so it matters a little bit, but might be overkill still. All right, so we're about to fight Raiders. Got a lot of good hats, which is always nice. Anyone else's frontal armor chunked? 150 here. Oh, we are no longer wounded on Makani. That's nice. 79 is not a very exciting attack number at the moment. But this could be the flail. He's the low stam though. Fail orc flail is pretty bad for him. I guess this is sword with pike like that. Could run heavier like that too. We want the bardish. We kind of do. This all looks pretty decent right now. Okay. Uh, pikes. Pikes on the shitty accuracy guys again. All right, let's take this fight. Hey, a leader and no archers. So they're gonna come to us. We gotta make sure we have enough daggers here. Plenty of daggers. Why not make the fencer an early banner? Um, Cause I don't want to take fortified mind or rally on him. Other than that, he's the perfect banner, right? All right, it's a 170, 215 with a war brand, okay. Why not give him the banner with no, because the banner's a bad pike, right? Like, I gotta look at the damage. Maybe maybe it's better than the regular pikes we're using, in which case, sure. But I can't do any of the things the banner is supposed to do, which is generate resolve and uh, rally people, right? But if you just say, but I honestly, I don't remember the damage on the top of my head for banner. So if it's just a better pike, sure, you're right. Yep. yep. And if it's a worse pike, then all the reasons I just said. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay. <sighs> just headshots for days, huh? Stunned so I can throw it so nice. So annoyed you got to swing there.
that I mean that's the game of battle rules, right? Like easy all fights are easy when you're ahead of the curve. And the whole point of the early game is to get ahead of the curve. So when you're doing well, everything looks stupidly easy. And when you're when you're struggling, everything looks like you're playing poorly because every fight's super hard. It's just, it's just the nature of the game, right? Okay. Alright. Uh, we're getting down to Sandhaven. I think we end up going back to the arena, I think. Dude, these mountains are so bad. All right, we need beasts. Don't really want to buy, uh, sell at 15. 295, we can make cash off. We need four locations, that's fine. Or four spots, rather. Do we, uh, is, arena's not somewhere we can teleport to now. We have to run it, right? So we have to teleport to Kabira or back to Grottenham. So what we're looking for is actually a beast mission here, right? Caravan to Brunstad, that's not even that bad. It's pretty close. And I don't want to do that. Okay, where's Brunstad? Uh, we should check the tavern too. It's not the tavern. Okay. We need... The big problem right now is we, we can't get to the unholds. So we want to do barbs, but there's no real way to do barbs on this map. There's no teleport that we can reach and then run around in. We'd have to like end up right about here with like 150 tools and a shit ton of food and then go up and around and then come back. Can't do crack until we have unholds, right? That's the problem. That's what I was just talking about. I don't really want to go there, although I guess we could. I'm going to do generate a famed armor. I don't want a fucking famed armor. Let's get out of here. Eighteen they're buying at hell yeah. I have a lot of use for a war brand right now. I got plenty of arming swords. I prefer arming swords to war brands, mostly. I know some other people love war brands, but it's never really done a lot for me. It looks something like that. Okay. We'll run their vagabonds down. Anyone need armor change? Nope. We're still at 11. Five beasts is actually going to be a pain right now. I lied. There's serpents right there. So first we'll kill the vagabonds. Then we'll kill the serpents. Okay. Don't know where this is high ground coming from. Okay. I need more booze if I'm going to get through. What am I, what am I at for uptime? It's a 13 hour, right? That's what we're moving towards. We're about an hour away. Why'd I pass?
I'm kind of okay if they want to leave. I don't really feel like fucking killing this. Alright, good fight. 